Oh, hey, nice Newfoundland. Oh, this is a Lanzia. Oh, I'm sorry, so it's not a Newfoundland? No, it's a Newfoundland. Oh, nice Newfoundland. Thank you. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Breed Review. I'm Liam Murphy, and today I'll be reviewing the Newfoundland. This is Dublin here, he's a Newfoundland. As you can tell, a very large dog. They're known for their big giant heads. They have a very thick double coat that works really well in cold water. They were originally from Newfoundland, an area in Canada, and they were used primarily as a working dog for fishermen, pulling nets and things like that. Nowadays, they're primarily just a family companion, and they're still used as working dogs, and they make excellent water rescue dogs. A very popular dog amongst the big guys, so let's get right into the review. We're gonna start off with health. And for a big dog, these guys are very healthy. These guys can live for 10 plus years. Dublin here is 10 years old, and he's very strong, he's very healthy. The main health concerns for these guys are basically what you see in most big dogs, joint problems, hips, elbows, things like that. Other than that, no major concerns. So I don't have a lot to talk about on health with these guys, other than the fact that they're just a big dog, and with big dogs, you get bigger problems. So that's something you want to keep in mind, because in my opinion, they're a very healthy breed. I'm going to give these guys a 3.5 for health. Moving on to temperament. These guys have a very sweet temperament. They make great family dogs. They're good with kids. Again, like I say about most big dogs, you have to be careful just because of their sheer size. However, they are a slow moving dog. They're not crazy. They're not jumping off the walls. They're not a dog that's gonna typically jump all over the kids. They're a very calm, stoic dog. Generally really good with other dogs and other animals as well. They can be aloof with strangers. They are from the Mastiff family, so they do have a guard dog background inside them. So as calm and teddy bearish that they may seem, they can come too really quick. So you have to be careful. They do have that side of them where they can be a little bit nasty. However, I feel like it's only in the right situation. They can be very protective of their property. That's where you're gonna see most of that. You're gonna see it mostly at home and in their vehicles and with the owners. So you should always be careful when dealing with strangers that the dog doesn't know. However, you don't see a lot of aggression problems with these guys. Typically, they're a very easygoing dog. I'm gonna give them a score of five for temperament. Okay, so let's talk about activity. They are a working dog. However, they don't require a ton of exercise. They don't need a ton, but they do need exercise. You just wanna make sure that they're in very good shape because the better in shape these dogs are, the healthier they're going to be. If you're thinking about getting this breed, I would consider doing a lot of swimming with this dog. They have very big webbed paws. So, Swimming is one of the best exercises for these guys because it's low impact on the hips and their elbows. Overall activity for these guys, I'm gonna give them a three. Okay, trainability. Very, very intelligent dogs. They're known for being very smart. I would say most importantly for training for these guys is to make sure that you work on them around people. You wanna socialize them a lot. They are a big dog and like I said, they can become very protective. So you wanna be careful and you wanna make sure that you put in the time to nip any issues of aggression towards people in the bud. For trainability, very easy dog to train, very smart dog, I'm gonna give them a five for training. So that's it, so that's Newfoundland. I highly recommend this breed if you're thinking about getting a big dog. The Newfoundland makes an excellent companion, makes a great working dog. Again, doesn't require a ton of exercise, but does need consistent exercise. You wanna make sure that you have the time in your schedule to give these guys the appropriate exercise that they need. One thing to consider some of the cons about these guys is their size, like most big dogs. It's a big dog, so you wanna make sure, do you have the right size house, yard, vehicle, all those things you wanna take into consideration. A lot of times people think it's really cool to have a big dog, they bring it home, it's a little baby, it's cute, and everybody loves it. Next thing you know, it's like Cliff of the Big Red Dog. So consider the size of it. Other than that, great with kids, other dogs, people in general. Be wary of strangers, make sure you socialize the dog. Other than that, you shouldn't have any problems. I love these guys, they're a really, really great breed. Thanks again for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, please, if you would, like this video, comment on this video, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends if you could, I'd really appreciate it. I look forward to seeing you guys on the next one. Have a great day, we'll see you tomorrow.